day two of my trip to Halifax was probably one of the greatest days I've ever had in my life. Halifax used to be a crime city, and then Theodore came along and then made everybody friendly. It's like the world was in black and white, and then Theodore just paved Technicolor as he yeah. sailed through. This morning we decided to start our day with a ride on Theodore 2, the infamous large-scale version of Theodore Tugboat. I knew that this boat was large, but when you see this boat in person, it's like overwhelming how big this boat actually is. One of the very interesting things about this, this journey and this tour is that they refer to all the different pieces of the Halifax Harbor as they're referred to in the show, right? So it's not the McDonald Bridge, they actually call him Benjamin Bridge. Awesome, so Benjamin here, he is very important to us on the harbor. He takes his long arms and grabs onto Halifax and Dartmouth, allowing people to cross back and forth. And they talk about the Halifax transit ferries that go back and forth as Philip and Fillmore. And it's really interesting to listen to people talk about something that hasn't really been made in, you know, close to 20 years as if it's still being made. One, two, three, two, two. Did you guys all hear Theodore say hi? On the awesome. Theodore 2 cruise, you are allowed to go inside the cabin where they uh, steer the ship from and they have all these different commemorative Theodore tugboat things and some worksheets. We were able to talk to one of the staff members and Epi was, he started pulling out his Brio Theodore and showing it to her and she was very enthusiastic, answered all of our questions, let us know a lot about how that vessel worked and it was really, really nice talking with someone about Theodore who was able to answer every question we've ever had about that boat. What's awesome is that everybody here knows who Theodore is. All the kids run up and, you know, shout, it's Theodore, it's Theodore. And everybody on the shoreline as you pass by is so excited to see Theodore and they're waving, they're cheering, they're taking pictures. Theodore is still huge in Halifax. It's like he never went anywhere. It's fascinating and it's really cool to be in that environment. So we just got off Theodore Tugboat, who is right behind me. Um, what, what did we think? overall that experience. Magical. It was, it was pretty magical. After that we decided to make our way to one of the greatest places in the world which is the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic in Halifax Harbor. Now I was slightly worried about my suspicions from the night before because the night before we saw that the boats were not in the big harbor and our assumption at the time was well they must just take them out at night but I was kind of worried that that may not be the case. We just talked with the guy at the front. They take the models out at night, or they take the models. They're just not there at all. They're out for restoration. The guy just told me they're out for restoration. When are they going to be back? I'm not sure. Well, there's Chimey. And where's Clean? Where's Clean? He's out too. My heart kind of sank immediately at that moment. We went to the exhibit, and there were no boats on display. It was just the set and there were these signs up saying Theodore and his friends are being restored. I came a long way to see these Theodore tugboat models. Everybody came a long way to see these models and they just weren't there. And I was, I, oh, I was actually, I almost cried. <laughs> this is something I've wanted to do for so long is come to Halifax see those models and when I finally do it after years of putting it on my bucket list they're not there but we got to see the set and the set was quite large I think one thing that surprises me overall is just amazing overall is how much attention to detail has been put into the Theodore Tugboat show as soon as we got to Halifax yesterday we were pointing out locations from the show. Oh, there's the three smokestacks. Oh, there's that blue building that's in the background. It was so spot on with recreating the Halifax Harbor. And looking at, you know, the display, you really get a sense of 
how bang on that little set is. So after we're kind of disappointed by the models not being there, we continued to explore the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. But we didn't really see too much interesting there because we were only really there for Theodore. So we just kind of went on our way. Now at that moment in time, I did genuinely believe that that was the end of our visit to the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. But I felt kind of ripped off that I wasn't able to see the Theodore models, that I came all this way. So Nick and I decided to go up to the reception desk and tell them, you know, and ask, when are the Theodore models going to be back? Because maybe they'd be back before I left. And they said, we're not sure. And I said, you know, well, I came all the way from here. Nick came all the way from there. You know, we traveled a very long distance to come here just to see Theodore. We're very disappointed that he's not out. And the very kind woman at reception said, you know what, I know who to call. So she picked up the phone and she called someone and she was on the end of the phone going, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm going, oh, this isn't good, you know? And I'm thinking, you know, what am I gonna have to do to see these models? And, um, and she says, someone's coming down to meet you in five minutes. <laughs> and I went, okay, thank you. <laughs> so five minutes later, you know, we've all gathered around again. This guy comes down and we introduce ourselves. And he says to me, you know, so uh, you wanna see, uh, you came here to see Theodore Tugboat. We said, yeah, yeah. He says, so you all like Theodore Tugboat? And we say, oh, we love Theodore Tugboat. You know, we grew up with it as a kid. You know, it's something that's kind of iconic to us. We love the characters. You know, it all started with our love for Thomas the Tank Engine and just kind of, you know, grew into Theodore Tugboat too. Um, and he's going, right, right. And he goes, so how do you all know each other? We go, basically Theodore. We said, we, we came here, we met up to see Theodore. We're all from different parts of the world. We've been arranging this trip for like a year to come and see Theodore. You know, we love Theodore. And he was amazed. He said, you guys have never met before this? No, no. Well, I hadn't met them. So, you know, we haven't really met before this. And he goes, huh. And he realized then we were kind of in a bad spot because we were in the lobby. So he says, come with me. We're going to go somewhere that's a little bit more convenient. So he takes us kind of to this back corner and he opens this rope and closes it. So we're in this employee's only zone. And he's telling us about the Theodore models, you know, how the museum, uh, acquired them and you know how the museum takes care of them and you know their connection with the Theodore talk about production and eventually he's talking about the characters right he says the characters we have you know Theodore and Hank and Fodak and George and Emily who you're going to see in a minute and we just kind of our hearts stop when he says that you know we go what <laughs> and very shortly after that he pulls us into this little room and as soon as we walk into the room are the Theodore tugboat models just right there in front of us on a workbench being restored. And they were in such good condition. It was so cool to be able to get so up close and personal with the Theodore models, you know, no glass, no barriers or anything like nose to nose. I, I could not stop smiling. Like, John literally was squealing when we walked in. I mean, <laughs> the guy says to us, you know, we're standing there. He's talking to us, you know, about the models for about five minutes. You know, we're just standing, looking at them, you know, trying to contain our excitement. He says, you can take pictures if you want. And all of our cameras just come out of our bags, just like all in sync with each other. Just snap, snap, snap. It was incredible. And he took one great group picture of all of us with the Theodore models. And I, oh, it's to be with a model that you've watched on TV growing up and to see it in front of you is like walking into a room and seeing an old friend for the first time in years and just, 
an incredible experience and the museum was so, so wonderful and so, so good. And everybody there was so passionate about Theodore and they take such good care of those models. It was like they had all this information there just waiting to tell Theodore fans like ourselves. We ended up spending about half an hour with the models and I just, it made all of this worth it. After that, it was going to be really hard to set the bar. So we just kind of did some exploring. We went and found the town clock, which is in the background of Theodore, uh, known as Chimey. And then we went and walked on the docks that Theodore and his friends lived on. We found the building that is supposed to be the dispatcher. We found Theodore and Hank's dock, and we found George, Emily, and Fodok's dock. And we sat on Donald dock, which was a very interesting experience. Here we are on Donald Dock, the real one. This, this is Hollywood. Not Hollywood. Do you think there are eyes on the side if we look? Whole body. To like talk to his brother. Oh, yeah, that's true. That could have been just a dude. <laughs> it's just, it feels like a dream that all of this happened and one day it was very overwhelming and so sudden and spontaneous. It's just. I, I don't know how a trip and an overall experience could get better than what I experienced today.